Uh, so with us is Mr. Ayush. So to start with my first question uh, to you is like, um, how Gen AI is uh, shaping India's technological landscape and digital economy? So Gen AI is definitely like changing our technological and digital economy to a large extent, uh, like ranging from uh, like creative industry to the technological software development industry. We have been seeing uh, many startups solving the core uh, problems which are uh, not being solved uh, like on a like pre uh, like Gen AI landscape. So like. Uh, like how they are solving is they are able to replace the mundane task because like India has a lot of uh, manual workforce and they are able to reduce uh, that to a large extent and people are now become more productive and able to uh, upskill themselves to a large extent so definitely on to upskilling level and on to the productivity level it is definitely changing to a large extent uh, my next question to you is like uh, do you think Gen AI uh, pose any threat to data privacy and security in India yeah, um, yeah, like uh, data privacy is uh, of utmost concern if it is from India or the global level. Uh, there has to be uh, like a separate, like several guardrails while implementing that into our uh, like AI startup. So uh, it posed a security issue. Uh, if if you uh, if you've seen uh, the occurrences for ChatGPT as well, uh, people have seen uh, ChatGPT whenever they're working with ChatGPT, uh, their data have been exposed. Uh, like initially, we, we we have seen some experiences. So AI uh, to some extent do possess uh, data privacy issues as well, and that's why uh, we have seen now startups uh, working on to the on-prem solution where the entire control have been given to uh, the users. They can have the entire control of the data and the, the models which are working upon. And we are also at CodeMate uh, very focused on to data privacy and we are offering the on-prem solution, which is the future we are looking for. So my last question is like, uh, can India become the AI capital of the world? Definitely, why not? Like uh, we have been seeing a great test of innovations happening in India itself, uh, like right from infrastructure support to the funding uh, support, as well as the uh, brightest of the minds, the tech talent. If you ask about there are more than 10 million developers itself in India about that's a pretty huge number and as compared to Western market and uh, other uh, like the European like regions as well. Uh, we are amongst the uh, top uh, talent producing developers who, who can build this kind of tech. So uh, like whatever we need uh, to build the AI capital, whether it is uh, infrastructure, whether it is a funding or the right set of talent, tech talent. We have all kind of support and it's been growing uh, very, very fast. We have recently seen upon government launching 10,000 crores of investment into the AI startup itself. So this is pretty much exciting and uh, we, we are very, very hopeful uh, because this this is uh, increasing a day or day. Uh, so definitely uh, we will be looking for that because India is the way to innovation where every other uh, countries will be looking after India and building from India. Thank you. Thank you so much for that.